Hello, 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 everyone. I hope you're doing well. My name is Sayyam, and welcome back to the channel. Right today, we're gonna see this beautiful problem of third problem of today's contest, which is really not a very difficult problem. We'll see the entire thought process. And if you're new to the channel, make sure hit to the subscribe to the channel because we make awesome content around DSA Tech and AI. Let's get started. Then, what's the wait? And with on your note, I'm starting. All videos in English. I'm trying my best. I know my English is not very good, but I will try my best. So bear with me till the end. I I am sure you, if you see this video, will learn something new. Minimum absolute distance between mirror pairs. Okay. You're given an English in, uh, not English. You're given an integer array nums. A mirror pair is a pair of indices such that okay, blah blah blah. That okay, if you do reverse. That same number get the same number. तुमको खुद को उल्टा किया that if you reverse yourself you get same number perfectly fine. You know the integer fine. Leading zeros are omitted after reversing. That is also very very important. Reverse of one twenty is twenty one. Now what people miss in this question I believe is this part. It's not the vice versa. It's not the vice versa that reverse of nums of i. Should be equals to nums of j. That means what? It does not imply that if if you nums of i, this also will work. Agar if this we got the reverse of nums of j, this won't work. This won't work. Means what? If we get let's say twenty one, and this is one twenty, this is won't work. This won't work because reverse of this, reverse of this is equal to this. But it will work. This will work. This will work. That you need to take care of these things because strictly they mentioned i j. There is an order. There is an order. You have to. I read this problem. Many of you might be get wrong here as well. You might be confused. And then what we have to do? Return the minimum absolute distance between the indices of any mirror pair. Okay. What you have to do, we have to minimize the distance between the pairs. If you solve the today's POTD, ah, uh, not exactly the same problem, but a similar kind of approach will use it because here there also we have to minimize the sub sub array removal sub array. Here also, ah, uh, we have to somehow remove minimize the distance. How we can do that? Let's try to think about. It. Okay, after reading this, obvious question is: This is a contest, right? We don't need to find always the optimal solution. Let's try to go to the constraints. That what constraints are saying to us. It is a third problem, so you already assume, and you are right. That constraints are ten power five. It won't help us. It won't help us, right? Oh, so yeah, um, sad life. Life is so sad, yeah. What we do again? We got stuck again. We have to think. We have to think about it. No problem. Let's try to think. No problem. Yes. Try to think like when you don't able to solve, not able to solve the problem, right? You will learn something new. That's how you think positively, and you learn a lot. That's a important gesture. Ah, uh, absolute distance we have to minimize. If we somehow know that that okay, these indexes are present on these numbers, then we can do something. What I'm trying to mean is, let's try to take an example itself. This is. Like we have twelve, twenty one, forty five, thirty three, and fifty four. Hmm. We have to find that right, what is the closest. Firstly, we have to find the if there exist. Firstly, the question is if there, and if exist, we have to find the closest. Right? Okay. One two is there. Now, one way is go and searching all the other element. That there is a brute force way, right? We go and if there reverse exist, and we just go and obviously we go from j equals to i plus one, and because we have to reverse this thing, very very important. Reverse of this thing, we have to do that. If we reverse this itself, and we go and finding, okay, is there any j exist? And obviously we'll start from i plus one, but that would be a brute force way. How we can find this an optimal way? See, whenever we you get these kind of questions, right? You need to always think that you have to. Pre-compute something. You have to pre-compute something because you cannot do do this without this, right? Because you need to do this optimally. What pre-computation? You have to store something, and when you want to store something, 
previously you always use either some vectors or either some maps okay but what we need to store that is an interesting question that is an interesting question okay 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 what if what if what if see there could be duplicates also so don't think that all are unique uh that is also perfectly fine right that is also perfectly fine you're absolutely right so what we can do is what we can do is we are at a particular index we are at a particular index let's try to make another array another array of reverse values how this will help let's try to see that 21 12 54 33 45 okay perfectly fine now always understand and read the problem again problem says that reverse the original number then find there exists a number of which is same or not so we won't iterate on this no that is a wrong idea firstly i thought we have to iterate on this no we have to iterate in this we already reverse all the numbers we already reverse all the numbers now what we can do is now what we can do is oh can we find a number 21 in this original array? In this original array, which is closest. Okay, how can we do that? See, you cannot sort this array. I hope you're getting it. If you sort this array, things won't work because this also will change. This also will change. So somehow you can keep a map. You can keep a map which will track all these values. But Sayyam, if we keep a map, uh, the problem is if there are multiple 21s, then how would we figure out? That's what, that's what. You have to keep and store all the indexes of a particular key, of a particular element. So here what we design our data structure. That is very, very important. Our designing our data structure, data structure that we need a map. Definitely we need a map, but we need more than a map. For a particular element, we need to store all it occurrences so where it is present we'll see why we need that but yeah we need now you can keep all the indexes in a vector also or in a set also but since we have to find these things optimally we'll use a set we'll use a set very very important very 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 important okay we'll see that why we require that but yeah let's try to see that okay Okay, so we are at 21, we are at 21, and then we want to search that whether there exists a 21 in our original, not in reverse, not in reverse, in our original, what is closest to it. So what we will eventually do, that is very, very simple. We have to find a closest element, what we do, what we do for in these kind of cases, because we already know, okay, now we can apply a binary search type of thing, which is nothing but upper bound or a lower bound upper or lower bound these are the things that will help us because we just need to find the first occurrence first occurrence which is obviously greater than this because it could not be same it could not be same very very important 33 is 33 since i already mentioned it could not be equal i is strictly less than j so you have to use the upper bound wala logic you cannot use lower bound. You have to use upper bound. Firstly. And we gonna do that in the reverse part. You can do in this, uh, this part as well. And keep making it reverse. That also will work. But I just made the entire reverse array. That's just extra thing. You don't need to require that as well. You can do this. Reverse the current number. And find this original number. But for the finding. You have to pre-compute something. That is this map part. You store all the occurrences of the original array in this map all the elements and then what you're gonna do our simple idea is reverse the current element the current element now find if it exists in your map in your map well it, there could be two cases it does not exit itself if yes then you find the use the upper bound to find it. To find it. And just take the difference. Take that difference. That's simple. That's simple. It's not very, very complicated. No to 
just skip it that is the idea let's try to see with this an example that we can do that or not this is 21 this so we go to 21 we find this oh we find this we found our answer to be one because the difference is one now go to 12 we go to 12 do we found 12 now very very interestingly we'll do a upper bound this won't give an index because this is previous this is previous it is beyond that a very very important j should be larger this is our current i j could not be previous that is very very important that's why keeping the order in a shorter order will help us right okay I already explained you that 21, 120 won't work. 120, 21 will work. That is very, very important. Now I go to 54. Uh, do I found a 54? Definitely I found a 54. But the difference is 2. But I want to minimize. I won't ignore this. We go to 33. Now here also very, very important. Since we do, if we do a lower bound, you will get a 0. But we cannot get a 0. Because we want J strictly greater than I. All the edge cases are covered. So you have to take it. We, we cannot take it. Because there is no... 33 more like one more 33 would have been there then we can take that but same 33 we cannot take it so we'll ignore 45 again it will be previous won't want that that is our original idea let me just quickly show you the code it's very simple what are we going to do we create this map very very important very interesting map and firstly what are you going to do take this i created another vector itself you don't need to create this another vector reverse i just create for simplicity i didn't think about when i making this video i thought about oh you don't need to make a separate vector you can just on the go itself you can do that but okay so what we do we're gonna create this the current element we just reverse this string and we just calculate the sto of i just this is what just calculating the reverse of the current number we're gonna insert the current number in the set insert current number in the set in i this is the pre-computation part this is the pre-computation part i hope you are getting it pre-computation part and in the same itself i made the reverse array now very very important i am iterating the reverse array not in the original array right so what are you gonna do i will just find whether the same reverse of i exists in our map or not or if it does i have to find the index that very very important the upper bound index that okay should be just great just greater if it just be found very very important in these cases we are able to find the indexes but they are not greater so they will not that they will give mp dot n no not mp dot n this they, they will give this mp of rev of i dot n that we don't want we'll check if they are equal to n oh that won't suffice our thing We'll just continue from here. Very, very important. Otherwise, we'll take this index. We'll just subtract it from current index. This is V is nothing but the J actually. You can just treat it as J. And then you find just J minus I. And if it is just going through all the indexes, and then we just we don't find an index, we'll just return a minus one. Otherwise, we'll just return our answer. So I hope this question is very simple. Just the point is the creating that map was a bit challenging. And handling this cases of, okay, finding the upper bound or lower bound, some edge cases are there. Otherwise, the question is pretty straightforward. So I hope you love the solution. If you did, make sure you do the like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, keep learning. Bye-bye.